Um, I've read about inhalable insulin using meter dose inhalers. What concerns to you about using this form of insulin? Well, we have, I have discussed this before. The major concern is the unpredictability. You don't know how much you're going to absorb from one dose to the next. Now, I do understand that uh, some people with gastroparesis who will get a very high blood sugar out of the blue when their stomach finally empties after uh, it's been loading up for a couple of days, um, uh, have been used, some people have been using inhaled insulin uh, to bring the blood sugar down because it works so fast. Now, I had been recommending intramuscular insulin for mild blood sugar in, uh, increases and for my rare patients with what I call end-stage gastroparesis, people who have nausea and vomiting from gastroparesis and go up uh, maybe out of the blue to three, four, or 500 when several meals empty at once, um, I had them giving themselves intravenous injections of insulin, uh, which uh, works quite rapidly. But it's difficult to give yourself an intravenous shot. Uh, I've never had the gut to do it, guts to do it myself. I haven't had the need, but I certainly have tried as a matter of principle to be able to show other people, and I couldn't. <laughs> I was chicken. <laughs> um, so inhaling insulin would be a lot easier uh, than injecting intravenously. Um, and uh, the inhaled insulin, I understand, takes about an hour and a half to have most of its effect. Now, after it's had its first effect and it's unpredictable, you can then take a second dose uh, when you see what's happened, uh, if you still need some more insulin. So for these special situations, the inhaled insulin may be a value, but remember it's unpredictable. You don't know how much it's going to lower you. And the amount it lowers you today uh, might not be the amount it lowers you tomorrow, or if, or the amount it lowers you at one o'clock today might not be the amount that it lowers you at six o'clock today, uh, because the absorption uh, is highly variable.